Mr. Arnaud Demon, who joined us last year in the GTX family, uh, customer family. Mr. Demon, please, can you tell us who you are and what is the position within your company? So, my name is Arnaud Demont. I'm working for the company ArcelorMittal, who is the first steel producer in the world. And then I'm in charge of the optimization of the logistic network for the plants in Europe. And what does your company do exactly as main activity? The main activity of ArcelorMittal is to produce steel and steel for uh, all of the applications, for industry, for uh, automotive, for packaging and then uh, is the first uh, producer of uh, steel in the world. So we can conclude that the rail activity is important for your company, how exactly? Yes, it's the, probably the, the most important part of the, of the transport we are using in the, for the shipment of our products. So mainly between, uh, for sure, our, uh, we have a global map of the plants in Europe. I will focus only on the discussion of the, on the uh, European market. But in fact, we have several plants uh, located elsewhere in Europe. And uh, we are running trains uh, between the different entities to transport uh, semi and finished products. And then also to the shipments to our final customer. If we estimate the percentage of the different mode of transport, so we go for uh, more or less 50 to 60 percent by rail. And the rest is uh, by road, by uh, barge maritime. So the question, uh, what are the advantages of the rail transport seems to you like a normal one? Yes, for sure. For us, uh, what, uh, the main advantage of the rail transport is uh, first uh, the, the safer solution for the, <coughs> for the quality of the product and also the quantity that we can move at each time. Uh, we are running probably most uh, of the bigger trains uh, in Europe. Uh, for example, we go for trains still uh, 4,000 tons uh, every day. And uh, if I took some comparison, uh, we have uh, more than uh, uh, 20 or 25 uh, trains uh, per day from uh, the location of Dunkerque uh, crossing uh, the different and to deliver products uh, elsewhere in France but also in Europe. And according to you, what are the main topics we have to work on in order to develop this freight uh, rail transport? I think that uh, for the moment, if we consider that uh, for the rail transport, we are using wagons uh, designed uh, 40 years ago, uh, we must optimize the quality of the wagons. In fact, we work closely with uh, all of the rental company we are working with uh, to optimize the quality of the wagons, the tar weight of the wagons, and also the capability for our operators to be sure that uh, by tomorrow we can simplify the way to use the wagons, but also to go for the digitalization. It's not a huge name because we heard uh, every uh, this world uh, everywhere here in this fair but uh, in fact the main interest is really how to simplify processes how to have a better interaction with the wagons to avoid that operators must go to the wagons to open for example uh, the arms if we speak uh, about uh, shims car as uh, you can see behind me but uh, uh, also for other type of wagons like false wagons where we can act on the wagons not always be really close to the wagons but also to have some remote control and so on this is for me really the, the most important point that we must uh, really tackle in the coming years. And can you briefly explain to us how exactly GTX supports you in this optimization of uh, freight uh, rail transport? Yes, uh, I think that uh, GTX is uh, for us a uh, very new supplier. In fact, uh, uh, we try to enlarge our panel of suppliers, external suppliers, and then GTX uh, uh, can really be one of the major ones for us. Uh, we develop uh, with uh, with GTX this uh, new new car. Uh, it's a Shims wagon, so for uh, to to move some uh, coils uh, horizontal axis, uh, and I think that uh, what we have really appreciate in the to work with GTX is uh, the professional teams uh, from the commercial but also with the technician really to try to work with us to develop and to adapt the, the car to our needs and really to be uh, really uh, close with us and with our teams to be sure that to deliver the best product. And what will be your expectations, let's say, on long term from your partnership with GTX? I think that to, to continue uh, uh, to just to help us to continue to, to grow our uh, uh, fleet of wagons because for the moment uh, we are running more or less uh, 4,000 wagons and we have always new projects uh, and with new cars uh, for transport of uh, aggregate products but also for uh, also to define uh, better cars with a light tar weight and uh, more efficient wagons.
Do you use the fair transport and logistic to gather info on a certain specific topic or you just gather general information about the rail market here? Well, I think that uh, it's a really interesting and uh, it's a very good moment uh, to meet uh, suppliers but also to discover new new initiatives in digitalization but also to meet uh, the, the, the French workshop who are developing new solutions to have a look also on the, what our uh, competitors is doing. It's always interesting. So for me it's really the, the good place and also to have the, the opportunity to meet all of the rail business people and the key people uh, in one place on one day. Thank you, Mr. Nemon.